Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look, as you can see, the springtime has come here to West Michigan. But we're going to be taking a look today at the, the, the wolf spider. And in particular, the little tiny Pardoza genus, which is a, a subspecies of the larger wolf spider. And compare that with the larger wolf spider I have in the house that I've had here all winter, been living uh, in an aquarium. And check out the differences in sizes and maybe some of the, the distinguishing characteristics that make them look alike. And also some of the differences that are, that are kind of obvious to see as well. So let's go in the house and take a look at those two wolf spiders. Hey, Kenzie. Well, unfortunately, the larger wolf spider has grabbed the smaller wolf spider that was in this little bottle. I thought it was small enough that my large female wolf spider wouldn't even see it, but apparently she did and grabbed herself a quick bite and a meal. <laughs> Brother. Now I gotta go out and find a new one. Okay, here's the area right out here. We're going to be looking for one of these little Pardoza, uh, little species form of a wolf spider. And let's see if we can find one. Ah, there's one right there. <laughs> oh, they're fast. There we go. Gotcha! Okay, let's take this home now and see if we can um, have this one next to the larger one. And hopefully uh, it won't get eaten this time. <laughs> let's go back into my house. Okay, I'm back home now and I'm going to take a look at this little specimen here of a Pardoza spider. That's a small little wolf spider, full grown and compare it with a larger wolf spider that's uh, quite a bit larger. But again, both adult spiders. There they are side by side. We're going to put them together, and she hopefully isn't hungry this morning. By the way, just for information's sake, uh, the name Lycosidae uh, comes from an ancient Greek word, lycos, meaning wolf. And then the uh, sede uh, suffix on the word, uh, that is, I believe, maybe Latin, uh, meaning the, uh, the family of or the um, actual genus of the family. So the cosede is uh, the family of wolf, wolf spider. So we have two different kinds here, and let's uh, take a look at them together, see the difference in the sizes. There's the smaller Pardoza wolf spider. And right next to it, the larger Lycosidae. And you can see there's quite a difference in size between the two. Some distinguishing features on either of the spiders, they both have long legs 
proportionate to their sizes, of course. And they both are very fast spiders. It used to be thought that the wolf spider hunted in packs, such as true wolves do in the animal world, but um, that's not the case. They're very um, solitary, hunt by themselves, kind of loners. And the big spider is warning the little spider, stay away. <laughs> so, uh, the other thing that we can see, at least on the female here, the larger one, you'll notice right down the head area, there is a distinctive line. See that kind of light brownish tan line that runs down the the head area of this spider. We have the same kind of marking on the little Pardoza spider. Don't know if we'll be able to get that close to get a good look at that, but uh, we can certainly try. And this uh, Pardoza, smaller spider, don't know exactly what species it is, but you can, it's a male, looks like a male to me from the pedipalps, and um, you might be able to get a better shot of that stripe down its head area. Similar eye arrangements. And they both have this raised head area on the carapace. And there's that same raised head on the larger wolf spider. can see this uh, particular wolf spider has very large chalicera. That's the uh, two mouthpieces in between the two pedipalps. Very long at the end of those would be the, uh, the large fangs of this spider that are tucked back in behind those uh, chalicera. There's a lot of spiders I don't mind holding, including black widows, if, uh, if the need is there. But uh, I would not want to get bit by a wolf spider. It has some pretty good set of fangs. And I'm not worried so much of the venom, which would be minuscule compared to what I would need to bring harm to me. But those fangs poke a nice little hole and would hurt. <laughs> I'm going to try to hold her today. Haven't done that before. We'll see how uh, I want to make sure she's nice and quiet and subdued before uh, I try to do that because if she's upset or anxious in any way, <laughs> I might be the end receiver of those fangs. 